Welcome to all to my channel Biology Madam. Here is your Biology Madam and serving you a note on mushroom preservation. In this video, I am going to present a short note on mushroom preservation. Here we will discuss something about mushroom. Okay, let me see. So, firstly, the mushrooms are the supplements that given by your nature is a healthiest supplement for our foods. The mushrooms are used by us in our regular diet because the mushroom carries low cholesterol and it is rich in protein, fibers and some minerals. So, mushrooms are used in our diet chart that prescribed by any of the dietitians is very much important for our health. First of all, we have to know, so what is mushrooms? The mushrooms are the fungus, like these are the macrofungus. The mushrooms is a fleshy, spore-bearing fruiting bodies of fungus, typically produced above ground, on soil or on the food sources. Basically, the mushrooms require some substrate to grow properly. In the environment, the mushrooms are basically grows on some wet things. From them, it absorbs the nutrients for their proper growth. These are the picture of some mushrooms. As we know, some of the edible mushrooms as well as medicinal mushrooms are found in our nature. So, some edible mushrooms, those who are cultivated in our West Bengal and in surroundings, those are Pleurotus, Pleurotus ostriatus, Pleurotus hypsigigus, Agoricus vesporus, Callocype, etc. These are the commonly edible mushrooms. After that, we have to know what are the advantages of mushrooms. Why I am sharing these slides about mushrooms? You have to know the advantages of mushrooms because to preserve something, we have to know what will be the uses of these things. Is there any advantages or is there any disadvantages for preserving these materials? So, the advantages are mushrooms has tremendous medicinal values. Those are mushrooms are rich in vitamin B, protein and fibers as well as it helps in improve bone health. It helps in cholesterol reductions and diabetes control. The mushrooms are rich in antioxidants like vitamin C, selenium, choline. It also contains some bioactive constituents having above mentioned properties that is the medicinal properties. It is also used to having its antibacterial antiviral effects. So, the mushrooms are used as antibacterial antiviral agent. It decreases the risk of cancer due to having its anti-tumor, antioxidant, anti-free uh, radi radical scavenging property. It also supports our immune system due to having its immune modulatory properties. And it helps to reduce weight and high blood pressure. And to fill this graph, the last one is it helps to improve our bone health and it increases the disease prevention. So, these are the advantages of the mushrooms. Now, it is clear to you all that why it's need to preserve the mushrooms. Why it is needed to preserve this mushroom as well as why it is needed to uh, supply or to export these mushrooms to the other countries. Now it is clear to you all. After that, I want to mention you that why we need mushrooms to become preserved. For that reason, for that reason, we need mushrooms to become preserved due to having its in future, it is important in different areas like in biotechnological tools, in pathological experiments, in some taxonomical environments as well as in biodiversity study, in systemic study or in the application 
or in research based studies it is important to preserve as well as to sustain food security and safety because it's quick spoiled as we know the mushrooms are if we store this mushroom in our house in normal temperature it will be damaged within 2 days so it is important to store it in the refrigerator for many years genetic stability distribution and commercialization is also well, will also be maintained due to the preservation of these supplements beside that depletion of soluble compounds it also creating a new dimension of sustainable agriculture and forestry it is also used as food in near future some of the mushrooms are preserved by canning method and then it will be consumed after one year or two year later of your preservation date to transfer in other foreign countries it also needed to be preserved to they to preserve their high quality and the thing we have to know what are the factors that affects mushroom preservation there are several factors we found which affects the mushroom preservation like the lack of good laboratory practice if your laboratory is contaminated then it will definitely affect the mushroom preservation second one the low quality of mushroom strain the mushroom strains having a low quality that showing its less growth it not needed to be preserved nextly due to the difficulties of selection of temperature composition and the growth and preserved media is also important for preserving the for preserving the mushrooms if we failed to select the temperature that exact media then we will fail to preserve those mushrooms the wrong selection of the concentration of cryo conservations and freezing drying protecting agent like glycerol amra jeta diye mushroom gulo ke conserve kore thaki shei jodi ami protectant gulo ke selections er moddhe kono rokom kono biasness theke thake kono bhul hoye giye thake in that case also it will affects the mushroom preservation process and the other important thing is the contamination if the mushroom is already attacked by the pathogen and the pest then if you try to preserve it it will not be preserved freshly and the last one is the wrong evaluation of conservational method and stain viability eta amader faults যদি আমরা প্রিজার্ভেশনের সময় আমরা আমাদের মেথডটা ঠিক মতো ফলো না করতে পারি বা আমাদের মেথডের মধ্যে কিছু অ্যাডিশন ডেলেশন করে আমরা প্রপার একটা মেথড সেট করতে না পারি সো অবভিয়াসলি উই হ্যাভ টু ফেস সাম ডিফিকাল্টিস টু প্রিজার্ভ দ্য মাশরুমস এন্ড দেন আই এম শেয়ারিং ইউ দ্যাট দ্য মাশরুম প্রিজার্ভেশন প্রসেস ইজ অফ টু টাইপস one is long term storage method and the second one is the short term storage method for the long term storage for the short term storage i will share you a separate video for the methods those are related to long term and short term storage in this video it is a short video as i have already mentioned you in first slide that this is a short video and in this short video i'm only going to discuss you the differences between the long term and the short term storage methods for the mushrooms because it is also important if i'm giving you an examples it as a difference between the long term and short term preservations of mushroom then it will clear you to know the what will be the methods of the long term and short term preservation it will give you a clear idea about long term and short term storage of the mushrooms for that reason so we will move on to our next slide that is showing that the differences between the long term and in this slide i am going to share the long term and short term preservation of mushrooms in a difference so the short term preservation and the long term storage that can be differentiated by following this way 
In case of short term storage, the mushrooms is defined as the process of preservation where the mushrooms are stored for one to two weeks in a refrigerator by controlling the temperature of 1 to 4 degree centigrade temperature that is also dependent on the grades and the types of the mushroom strain. In case of long term preservation methods, the mushrooms are preserved through canning methods in which the processed and the sealed foods are stored in airtight conditioners for a period of a year, more than a year that is up to 5 years. So, the long term storage help us to preserve for a long time for the foods. In case of short term storage, we able to preserve it is it is in a normal temperature of refrigerator that is 1 to 4 degree centigrade. In case of long term preservation, we may follow the cryo preservation method that is the preservation in liquid nitrogen. Beside that, it is, a, it is not that much delicate for the product because the, the, the product is not too much hampered during the short term storage. Because it you know that in our refrigerator, we also preserve some mushrooms for one or two weeks in normal refrigerator conditions, not in even deep freeze also. So, this is not delicate for our products, but it reduces the quality of the mushrooms that already that also reduce the protein content, the fiber content of the mushrooms. So, the food values may be reduced during the storage method. In case of long term storage, it is a delicate process for the mushroom because it stored for five up to five years. In case of short term storage, we can store it for one or two weeks. Sometime it is required to store for one or two months. In case of long term storage, it stored up to five years as I have already mentioned you. In case of short term storage, it helps in export in short distance. But in case of long term storage, it helps to export the mushroom in foreign countries. The most of the international trades in, trades in mushrooms is done in this form. And in case of short term storage, the low quality preservatives are used sometimes. In most of the cases, the preservatives are not used. But in case of long term storage, it requires strong, strong preservatives to maintain their balance. Because it is important if we not give any preservative during the canning and the storing method, then it will uh, it uh, sometime degrade the tissues. So we'll preserve it with the preservatives. And this is the video that will help you to understand something about the mushrooms, why it need to be preserved, and what will be the advantages of using mushrooms by eating or what are the factors that affects the mushroom preservation what are the types of preservation that is long term and the short term preservation and what are the differences between long term and short term preservation please note it down in your copy and for further this live for further videos if you like my video and if you want to note down some notes from my video then please press the bell button and subscribe my channel for further informations please do support biology madam please avoid biology madam by like and sharing my videos and subscribe my channel i will definitely help you in your botany in your biology in your need preparation in your preparation for net as well thank you so much